uh, that's Peanut in P1 spot. This is Peanut versus uh, Mocha, who I believe Peanut historically has beaten Mocha. Oh God, sometimes I lose track of these a little bit, but I'm I'm pretty sure that is the case. And once again, Mocha not playing uh, his Kirby, even though I, I feel like this matchup feels worse than uh, Kirby's. It's possible he's just trying to do you know full Diddy Kong, get the Diddy Kong tournament experience. Like you, you have to respect like that uh, that willpower, sort of same way we've we've said about other players tonight. Yeah, well, oh, that's, like... that's what these kinds of events are good for anyway. So I'm I'm not surprised to see it. I wouldn't <laughs> be shocked if that was the reasoning. Um, but I wanted to mention because so you're talking about how it's easy to just sort of lose track of like historical matchups between players and things like that. Do you think that's a, a net play thing? Do you feel like it was easier you know, when there were live events and you were there to see the players sitting at the TV? talk to players and you sort of get their emotional status about like how do you feel about that match how to how that how'd that go and like and probably i can get excited about watching a match but it's a, it's a different beast when i'm there and like telling my buddy like yo you're fucking sick uh, <laughs> so it's like i do think that there's like there's a lot more emotional connection with the matches that uh that changes how how we how we interact with them and how we think about them yeah that's fair it just imprints yeah. on you a bit more on online gaming Maybe. Um, the thing I, was gonna, I like, I don't know how how Peanut's uh, item game is, but I feel like he's gotten a lot of time to learn how to deal with items better. Although he, he was missing that a couple times, and then immediately, <laughs> away. so the answer's probably not very good. Probably not. No. It is a, I don't, like, if you can, a when you if get you, a banana, you yeah. Away. If you get someone's, if you get Diddy's banana and, and your item is good enough, I don't think you ever throw it away. I feel like that's just sort of a statement that hey, listen, I'm not comfortable. Uh, well, yeah. with, I'm not comfortable yeah. with items. I'm not comfortable manipulating the banana enough against you. But if you can, it's huge. You can literally turn his tool against him. It's great. All right. Let's see. Let's, let's, let's see where we're actually going with this. I mean, the thing is that we're seeing okay. More... Now, now he's getting some items in there. Like, both players are, like, playing a lot more passively than what we were just seeing, which is a much more aggressive, like, combo-focused uh, game we just had. But now, this is very much, like, individual small hits. Nice SDI, by the way. Yeah. Um, and, uh, ooh, no, that could be bad, yeah. Oh, gets pineapple by himself. Once it starts like that in that situation, is actually really hard to Sonic. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you kind of have to fall ooh, extra. I like it. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's a maybe that's a Sonic bed, bread and butter thing, but I I liked it. I like that Mocha is making good use of uh, his crush cancel, like recognizing what is and isn't crush cancel safe is a big thing about how to deal with Sonic and just so you oh, don't really? get caught in like blunder hell, but also. <laughs> Did you introduce the tar tar? I guess Sonic is one of those characters too. Like, yeah, dude, here... you heard it. he makes a noise with Blunder. <laughs> is that what your Blunder sounds like when you turn it on? I think you might need to buy a new Blunder. I really like him. Oh, he has... wow. Yeah, Beautiful down air. He's very much like, he, he, he's constantly in motion, but he's, he's doing a good job of mixing up where he's actually intending on going and where where he, where he actually wants to be. Now Peanut is playing on a uh, on a box actually. By the way, he he has recently made the switch over. I, I recently like uh, a few months now, I think. But uh, he's a B zero XX player. I mean, I'm not gonna say box and then assume people know what I mean when we've got so many different boxes flying around. But you assume they know what B zero XX is? Uh, I mean, I, as much as I assume that they know what Smashbox is. It is a pretty infuriating name in terms it's of terrible. like. I it's like one of the worst uh elements of boxes and like i mean in a vacuum it's probably fine but like when there's other box controllers out there well, you can't just call it the box but the other box controllers that came out two years before it yeah it's a little frustrating yeah you can't just say oh he's a box player box. because are you talking about smash box are you talking about the box are you talking about you know some kind of weird mix box situation who knows we're getting a lot more that people are uh, are looking into. I actually just told Crump that I'd be 
I'd be willing to let because I'm I'm stuck in one location right now and I have two boxes. So um You're gonna lend them a box? Lend them a box. Uh wow. once again, I'll shut up my boy at Hitbox and just say, I did not buy two boxes. There was an issue with mine and they're like, here, take an extra box as a gift from us as an apology for having an issue. I was like, oh cool, thanks. They're very nice people at, at Hitbox uh, that make this Smashbox. And if I'm perfectly real, it was not a production issue. It was a I fuck something up issue, and then they just fixed it for free. These <laughs> guys are really dancing around each other. I, I can't yeah, tell if they're. I mean, I think I think it makes sense for Sonic and uh, Mocha is just not confident in what like he can really do to close out this stock. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to go aggressive and then take another ninety percent just to get one kill move. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll be perfectly honest. I, I, I think this is going to be really fucking hard for Mocha. I, like, he doesn't feel like he's able to, to put out enough damage with the Diddy in this matchup uh, off of any given hit to really do much. Uh, if, he, if he was a bit stronger, maybe with his tech chase game, he might be able to take uh, leverage that more. But as is, it feels like he's really just getting like two or three hit combos. And Diddy mm -hmm. does not do enough damage for that to be sufficient. No, but he, I mean, he's still keeping it close. He's not, it's not, not no, suffering it's not a huge like, disadvantage no. over it. It's, it's going to be hard. And like down throw, yeah, nothing. If you don't but, do it quickly, then you can't get, you can't DI mix up them. Yeah, you certainly don't want to leave a percent lead on the table. No, and I think, I think we're actually going to uh, probably a desperate run up down smash uh, pretty soon in the stock. Um, <laughs> like, I think that. Oh, okay, nice. I think that's like feeling the pressure and it is, it is, uh, it's a little rough. Oh, can be for sure. And then this is, and this is how the other side of the matchup is going. <laughs> I'm like, not much out of combos. It's like, well, he's a delicious combo weight for literally the entire cast, so. Yeah, that's gonna take it, yeah. Oh, wow. No, yeah, well, it, you can't DI out in that situation as a uh, versus Sonic. You kind of just have to hold in and just say, "All right, he's gonna hit me with something, but it's not gonna be a kill move." God, lucky Sonic didn't go for ledge. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why didn't yeah. you go for ledge when you can just do that? Yeah, this is going to be really hard. I really hope we see Mocha trying out his yeah. Kirby. It is a Game 3 switch, but, like, this oh, is what happens. Oh, oh. And that. No. Yeah, no, he's committed. It's definitely 2-0 uh, for Peanut. Up there, score. We're at 2-0 right now, right? Yes. Yes, we're at 2-0. Oh, and literally, as I said it, Frost is... Yeah, <laughs> is asking about the score. Oh, uh, Frost, late again. Don't worry, uh, we got we got you covered. <laughs> Way ahead of you. On it. You should never have doubted this. I don't know why you did. What's up with that? It's not very nice. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! What was that sequence? Yeah, unfortunately, like we're, we're the biggest the biggest component of this is just tilt stick and just being having having that immediate access to up tilt like allows him to adapt to the situation, and uh, it's it's hard. <laughs> Ian, I'll fight you. Say your prayers, Bucko. <laughs> Bucko, <laughs> fucking cat, try and catch me, Buckarooney. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no comment. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, it seems like Peanut just, in, especially in the second game, just woke up. Went from yeah. being close to just being a slaughter. This is incredible. That's why I was saying, like, I didn't think, like, I was like, Diddy is not working very clearly. And he, I, I think that he would have been able to do so much more with his, uh, with his Kirby. Or bring, bring back the Roy, baby. The, oh, yeah, I remember that. I love the Roy. <laughs> one of my favorite characters, I think. That he has a sword. That's all he needs. <laughs> Oh god, I, I, I do want to call that out, because it's very nice. Peanut has a very good awareness to say, like, I'm going to dash around you and just see if I can bait uh, your out of shield option uh, by getting behind you with you by abusing Sonic's, like, incredible dash speeds. 
Especially like a tool, uh, a tool that like I don't see enough people making full use of, just like getting behind, landing, and then getting up behind their opponent instead of going vice versa. Mm -hmm. Oh, not quite off the stage there. <sighs> what an edge card. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, well, Zoe, I hope you're ready. <laughs> we might, uh, we might be calling you in soon. Well, he's showing some signs of life. He is definitely on tournament stock, though, so uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, that was a nice neutral win here. Hmm, escapes, escapes the follow-up. I think go for a uh, shield drop. I think Mocha has got a pretty good shield drop game, but. He should be able to threaten Sonic from a lot of these platforms. A lot of Sonic's aerials kind of do lock him into a certain, like, uh, uh, landing route. So, God, mm -hmm. Mocha is really clean with these FBIs. Unfortunately, he hasn't really been able to take full advantage of them, but, uh, that's it. Mocha is out at fourth at this week's bigger ALC. Yep.